We're back for part two. So now you can put it on the shelf. There is no oxygen in this jar, so you're not gonna have any life form, okay? Now, if it was a flower type product, like um, powdered sugar or flour, something like that, of that consistency, you would put an O2, also known as an oxygen absorber, also known as a thing that eats all the oxygen in the room. <laughs> You'd put one of these in. For this size jar, you would put a 300 cc oxygen absorber in. And for the love of all things goodness and edible, please do not put your dried goods in the freezer. That was the old fashioned way of doing things before these things came along. Putting them in the freezer might kill the bugs that are there. Maybe some bugs just go into hibernation. But when you leave it out, it introduces humid moisture into your dried goods and your flour that can actually damage your product. And you have to leave it on the counter for three days to dry out. Can you guarantee me that it's going to be all dry and no moisture? And can you guarantee me that a bug hasn't flown in there to call it its home before you put it in canisters? So make sure you do this or you do this and make sure you date and label it because you want to use in rotation. And you can do this for anything, lentils, dried beans, uh, rice, but not brown rice because brown rice spoils faster because it has an oil in it. Um, you can do, oh, just garbanzo beans. You can have hummus all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's another one out there. Don't put your stuff in the oven. It turns your flour into a brick. It's not good. Don't bake your products. Don't bake your dry. Why do we make it harder for us than it really needs to be? I've been doing this for 12 years. I have not... I have only lost two items. One was a small quart of sunflower seeds. The oils went rancid in them. Just in that one jar, not the rest of the not the rest of the bag that were in different jars, just that one jar. And then one I believe was pecans. Same quart size jar, just that one jar, not the other jars that were in the batch of what I had of the container that I had taken them from. So, two can two two jars in 12 years. I think we're doing pretty good here. So, dry canning. Here's the beauty of it. You take stuff out. This is my working jar. It's salt. So I took stuff out to fill my, my, my canister in the kitchen. And all I have to do is reseal this puppy and stick it back on the shelf. I'm removing all the oxygen from it and I'm putting it right back on the shelf.